Maya Hab goes up. Master Barry crew leave the front of the stalls and they're right to go now. Lowmore a little unsettled. Gates back, they're racing. Lowmore was slowly into stride, also a bay and went backwards. Lady Snaz hard Britain and going with it early as Harbour Dance. Son of Normandy over on the inside. Coming across Mar Yahab and also Off White's going to be forward. Between horses, uh, Lady Snaz now pushing right up there and Lowmore's going to track in behind it. Blue Mountain trapped out very wide then terrain. Down the back they go, a thousand metres left to run. Harbour Dance now solo in the lead, shows the way a length and a quarter over Maya Haber. Over on the inside, Son of Normandy. Next is Lady Snaz, then Lowmore. Blue Mountain just being pushed along, trying to pick up some ground now. And Tear Rain, Abayan comes to the outside, but Harbour Dance is out by seven, eight, nine lengths into the stretch. Off White over on the inside begins to chip away at the lead, followed by Lady Snaz. A gap away then to Abayan down the outside with Tear Rain. It's Harbour Dance still clear. Inside the final furlong marker. It's out by six lengths. Over off white battling away well with Lady Snaz. But it's going to be a Harbour Dance switching to the dirt and racing away. Harbour Dance for Tygo Shea wins by ten lengths. Second Lady Snaz. It fought really well. Followed by off white. Then a photo between a Bayon and Terrain. A gap away to Blue Mountain. Now we're ready to go. Stata sends them at the 1600 metres and Al Asuf Star was very slowly into stride. What a medal bounced out quickly. Also Bawadi going up towards the front. Over on the inside, Negan's trying to hold up. Mambo Mischief next with uh, Ratio. Next of all is Emblem Storm in the green. They were followed by Lake Causeway, uh, more handy tonight. Moving up on the outside now, Sadid goes up there, followed by El Moria, then Tappy Sue. Well back in the run is Sophia. Next of all is El Mukhtar Star. Over on the inside, include the class. Then came uh, Alasuf Star and back of the tail is uh, Miracle Maker. 24-49 is the lead as they run their way down the back. And the front runner here is Negan from the inside is held water meddler. There, three links in front of Mambo Mischief around the outside of Bawadi being worked on. Travelling up on the outside then is Sadid. Four links away to Lake Causeway, Ratio. Then El Moria, followed by El Mukhtar Star. Emblem Storm begins to grind home strongly over on the inside. Tappy Sue with it. The rest ahead of by Alasuf Star, but they come to the bend and Negan shows the way. Up on the outside, Mambo Mischief. What a medal splits them. Around the outside, Sadid's beginning to chip away, followed by Bawadi. Now Lake Causeway looks within striking distance and coming with it is Emblem Storm. Into the stretch they come. And up on the outside, Sadid, but joining in quickly, Emblem Storm and Lake Causeway. And they're going to break away from them. It's Lake Causeway, Emblem Storm settling down for a great battle over the final furlong. They're broken away from Sadid. It's Emblem Storm over on the inside of Lake Causeway. And Emblem Storm's going to race away. What a debut from it. Emblem Storm's going to win by two and a half. Second in Lake Causeway. Now flying home, Tappy Sue. Just ahead of Sadid. A gap then to Negan. Next across the line then was Bawadi. They were followed by Miracle Maker. Then Mambo Mischief include the class. Well back in the run was El Mukhtar Star. Late scratching number nine, Pilgrim's Treasure at 6.36. Now the right to run. Lincoln Navigator and they're off and racing and away quickly is Shadji. Pop the hood bounced away quickly with Lady Palmer. Hard ridden between them. El Kamel goes forward. And also trying to hold up there is Zaja. So a charge early an important mission. Down in distance, but the same sort of speed is going to burst across. An important mission went to the lead. Surfing with it early is Pop the Hood across to second, followed by El Kamel. Next of all between them then is Bawasu as they come off the back straight and Shaji. Out deeper on the track is El Folk. They were followed by Lady Palmer. R1 is chasing it on the outside. Outside. El Kamal down the outside trying to finish on his El Folk followed by Lady Palmer. Eddie Salat from a long way back but Pop the Hood goes up to have a crack at important mission. Got a half and now a length in front and tonight might be the night for Pop the Hood. It raced away from important mission. Down the outside Eddie Salat but Pop the Hood from a wide draw is going to be way too good. Pop the Hood stretching out to win by four and a half. Second important mission then Eddie Salat. They were followed by El Kamal and close up between them as they hit the line was uh, El Folk, followed by Lady Palmer. Red Bull Sprick uh, ran on OK from uh, Zaja. Next to come across was uh, Shaji, then R1. Well, back in the run was Iftatar, then Statehood. And one of the last to cross the uh, line was Bawasu. Right to go. All set. 
Gates are back and they're racing and Welford the first to begin. Conclusion away quickly. Healed up on the inside is Celestial Spheres going forward and out wider in the track. Emirates Empire is trying to go up there as they go through the, uh, the first couple of hundred metres. Go by Prime Steakhouse. About to come off the back straight now. And the front runner's been there from the outset. It is Emirates Empire who shows the way by a length and a half. Over in second, Bow Face. Welford over on the inside. Conclusion a handy to them. And Emirates Empire joined out of the middle by Bow Face. Bow Face went to the lead here. Conclusion needs room. Dolman outside of it. And battling away is Welford. Now into the clear. Madarab down the outside. But it's Bow Face the front runner over Dolman. Madarab is coming hard on the outside. Bow Face just in front. Dolman getting there on the outside. It is Beauface just in front. Dolman coming on the outside, but Beauface stuck his head out and won. It's Beauface by a long hit over Dolman, then Mudarab followed by Conclusion. Welford holds sway. Gontier made up some ground, so too. Murray River might need two miles. They were followed next across by James Ian. Then came Emirates Empire, Valcartier. Well back in the run was Fran Schubert, Berkshire Boy. And last in is Celestial Spheres. Record man along. And that will conclude the load process. They're set to run up the uh, 2,000 metres. Gates are back and they're racing. Slowly out was Wood Ditton. Really stayed there and missed it by two or three lengths. Illusion will fight away quickly. Is trying to cross ahead of Tradesman. Myrtle Allen the Red is trying to hold the pair of them. They were followed by Hakim and last Sienica Boulevard went forward, but there was no option to uh, go up there. Very deep into the first bend is La Sienica Boulevard. And Philosopher was next of all with Secret Trade, Mark of Approval and Key Bid. Towards the bend, Illusional is the leader. Out by a length and a half over La Sienica Boulevard. Wadidden's done it tough, still plugs away on the outside as they turn in. And Mark of Approval's going to come widest of all with Philosopher. But into the straight and Illusional out with a massive break. They go to the 350 and Illusional out with a winning break seemingly. Coming after it now is Philosopher down the outside from La Sienica Boulevard. Mark of Approval, Tradesman running on, Secret Trade over on the inside. Illusional still clear inside the final 150. Secret Trade running on hard. Cardia Franse down the outside but Sammy Hitchcock pitched it with Illusional. Illusional wins on the same night as last year. Wins it by four and a half. Second Cardia Franse close for third. Mark of approval Secret Trade then La Cienega Boulevard followed by Tradesman. Key bid next in were Ditton. They were followed by Philosopher. Big Brown Bear. Record man. Well back was Hakim who travelled uh, fairly strong but didn't give too much and Moodalel was at the rear. Pinto goes up to the rails and they're all set. Ready now. They're racing in the final race and speedy move. Ice Cave, the best two to begin with Kimber Edge driving between them. Just off them then next of all is Pathway to Honor in the red and driving up there very keen for Warwick in the early part. Out wider is Hyde Park going forward now ahead of a Mokara Pinter over on the inside. Next is Log Out Island. They were followed in turn by Esh Jarak over on the inside. Tash Wheat, then Billingsgate, Stratton Street and Edge Bar went back to the rear. 25-06 the lead as they come down the side and Kimber Edge took over. Kimber Edge out by a length over Hyde Park, worked around the outside to second from Ice Cave. Next of all for Warek, then came Pathway to Honor, speedy move. Next in turn then is uh, Mokara, followed in turn then by, as they come to the bend, Pinta. Outside of it is Log Out Island. Well back is Tash Week with Esh Dirac. Billingsgate will need a bit of luck. It's over on the inside, Stratton Street next and then Edge Bar, but into the straight and Kimber Edge is out by three lengths over Hyde Park, trying to chase it down. Ice Cave over on the inside. Now they're getting to let rip his speedy move out of the middle. Tight for room is Tash Week trying to get through and out wider on the track. Mokara followed by Esh Dirac. It's Kimber Edge under siege in the late stages. Speedy move coming out of driving through. Tash Week has got the run late. It would have been a desperately good thing beaten but in the end it's won. It's won easily. Tash Week races away. Speedy move second then Kimber Edge. Close up Mokara. They were followed out wider on the track by Logout Island who finished well. Esh Dirac was better. They were followed by Pinter, then Stratton Street, Billingsgate, Ice Cave, Edge Bar. Behind them is for Warek and a Hyde Park after a wide trip drop back. At the rear was Pathway to Honour. Very good effort there. First up for 23 months, Tash Week.